-hmm. You woke up once again, and tonight, uh, let me say today, I want to take you through another unsolved question in our book. That's our lecture handout on the question carrying Bostic, a final account of a soul trader. Already, I gave you this as an assignment. <laughs> And uh, I was expecting a lot of you to balance it and do the need for, but it seems some of us are still finding it difficult. So I'll solve all the workings and do the main work here. We are starting with the first additional information. Depreciation policy that's building fixtures and fittings are depreciated on the reducing balance basis at the rate of 10% and 15% respectively. Motor vehicle, plant and equipment are depreciated on straight line basis at the rate of 10% and 5% respectively. Provision for that folder should be increased to 10% of trade debtors. That is a 10% of account receivables. Purchases include 5,000 of goods bought for carrying personal use. Stock at the 1st December 2008 was valued at 80,000. That's closing stock or closing inventory. 20% of fuel expenses is prepaid. So it means you have fuel prepaid. Insurance and advertising bill of 500 and 440 respectively have not been paid. Eventually, these bills must be paid. Betty, the sales girl for Karen, was paid a salary advance of 400 at the balance sheet date. Make the necessary adjustment for loan interest. I think that's all. Requirements. Prepare an income statement and balance sheet of Karen Bostek as at the 1st December 2008. So the first one, since we have depreciation, I will start with my non-current asset schedule. That's the workings one. Non-current asset schedule. So underlining neatly. Then the essence for you um, writing or extracting this non-current asset schedule <clears throat> is for you to determine the net values of the various non-current assets we have. So let's go to the trial balance. And that is where we are going to get the real current asset we have. We have fixtures and fittings. Fixtures and fittings. We have motor vehicle. We have plants and equipment. We have building. Let's see, I think that's all. So we bring our total. So since we've been able to list our non-current assets, then the first thing we do is to establish the cost of this non-current asset. Cost. Cost for fixes and fittings, 7120. Motor vehicle, 5280. Planted equipment, 10,000. And building, 150,000. So in all, to be 7120 plus 5280 plus 10,000 plus 150,000 to be 172,400. Did we acquire any asset within the year as part of the additional information? I don't think so. So let's check the additional information. Additional information. We didn't acquire any assets. So it should be dash, 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 dash. Did we dispose any asset within the year disposal? I don't think so. So it will be dash, 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 dash. So this will still be the total cost. 7120, 5280, 10,000, 150,000, and 172,400. Then we come to less Depreciation. I've been saying that we have the previous year's depreciation and the current year depreciation. So let's determine the previous year depreciation always given to us in the trial balance. It's either provision for depreciation or accumulated depreciation. So in the trial balance, we have accumulated. Accumulated. The accumulated depreciation refers to the previous year's depreciation. So fixtures and fittings, 560. Motor vehicle 480. 
plants and equipment 2000 building 50000 so in all this will be 52000 50000 plus 2000 52000 plus 480 plus 560 which will be 53040 then we come to current year current year depreciation the current year we are going to consider the method of depreciation the rate so first of all the policy building fixtures and fittings are on reducing balance method and reducing balance method means that we take the previous year's depreciation from the cost before we compute for this year's depreciation so building current year will be what is the rate for building 10 percent so 10 over 100 times 50,000 150,000 minus 50,000 so 50,000 for 150,000 will give us 100,000 10 percent of 100,000 will be 10,000 so we are done with the current depreciation for building let's come to fixtures and fittings that's the first asset that one will be 15 percent reducing balance so it should be 15 over 100 multiplied by 7120 minus 7120 minus 560. So 7120 minus 560 will give us 6560 multiplied by 0.15. The 15% is the same as 0.15. Get 9.84. Motor vehicle, plant and equipment are on straight line basis. Rate 10%, 5%. So motor vehicle is 10%. So this is 10 over 100 times straight line is on cost. So 5280, which will give us 528. Then plants and equipment will be 5%. That one to a straight line. So 5 over 100 times 10,000. So which will give us 500. So in all, the total depreciation, 564, fixtures and fittings will be 560 plus 984, which will be 1544. Then we come to motor vehicle, 480 plus 528, which will be 1008. This one will be 2500. This one will be 60,000. The total depreciation, the total current year depreciation will be 984 plus 528 plus 500 plus 10,000 to be 12,012. Then the total depreciation too will be, you can do it like this, 53,040 plus 12,012 which will be 65052. Since we've gotten the total depreciation, then we can get our net book value. Net book value simply means that total cost minus total depreciation. So for fixtures and fittings, the total cost 7120 minus total depreciation 1544, which will be 5576. Then we come to motor vehicle. The total cost 5280 minus total depreciation which is 1008 and we get 4272 total cost for plant and equipment is 10,000 minus total depreciation 2500 we get 7500 then total cost for building is 150,000 minus total depreciation we get 90,000 Total cost for the total section, 172,400. Total depreciation for the total section is 65. 65,052. You get 107,348. So we are done with the non current asset schedule. So simple. I put somewhere. Continue with workings too. So we are done with A, B. Provision for doubtful debt, meaning we have to adjust provision. I think I can, I can um, 
divide my sheet into two working is two Reckons two provision for doubtful debt. Then you bring the Ghana CD balance as per try balance TB try balance. What is the provision for doubtful debt? one one two zero one one two zero and what are they saying that the provision should be should be increased to 10 percent so final final provision 10 over 100 do you have any additional budget we don't have any additional budget no we don't have so if we had additional budget we would have deducted additional budget from the account receivable before finding 10 percent on it but since we don't have any additional budget, let's go and look out for the account receivables figure in the trial balance. Yeah, we have it here. It's um, account receivable 18440. 18440. So 10.1 times 18440 will give us 1844. So it means it has increased by, so we take 1120 from 1844. No, 120. We give you seven two four. This is the increase in provision that will be recorded in our income statement. Increase. We are done. Let me continue. Additional information four. So that you won't forget, let's adjust the account receivables as soon as possible. Account receivables. I said it in class. The moment you adjust the provision for that for that, you shouldn't forget to adjust this one as well. Balance as per try balance what is that can we see our balance is 18 440 see less final provision sometimes when you are done you can leave it you can leave a space if something is going to affect the account receivables you'll be able to do it but after going through the additional information i don't think anything will affect the account receivables again you take the final 1844 so we get 18440 minus 1844 to give us 16596. Four. Purchases include 5,000 of goods bought for current personal use. Then we are talking about drawings, the purchases that we have. So we have to adjust purchases. Balance as per try balance and what is the purchases figure you go straight to your try balance purchases good one says eight thousand one hundred sixty eight thousand see less drawings the drawings is let's check for the drawings five thousand and therefore our real purchases become one hundred sixty three thousand so information five double um the double entry or duality principle it has affected purchases and it must affect the drawings as well it means our drawings will increase let's see. if we don't have any balance as per trial balance then these drawings will be the final drawings but i think we have drawings in the trial balance drawings ten thousand four hundred 10,400. Then you say add feather drawings. So with the feather drawings, we saw it in the purchases account 5,000. It will be 15,000 total we are adding. So it will be 15,400. We are done. Let's move on to that. There's additional information. 
Stock at the first zone, but that's closing event. 20% of fuel expense is prepaid. 20% of fuel is prepaid. So, fuel. What's the balance as per trial balance? Fuel. Let's go to the trial balance. It's 12040. 12040. 12040. They are saying that 20% is prepaid. 20% is prepaid. So you find the prepaid amount. So you say less. Since it's prepaid, no, we are going to less prepaid. And what is the prepaid value? We don't know. It's 20%. So we find 20% of 12,040. 12,040. So 0 0.2 times 12,040 to give 2,408. We are less than so minus twelve zero four zero. Nine six three two. So this is the amount that will be represented in the income statement. And this full expense prepaid will be a current asset because it's an expense prepaid. Seven. Insurance and advertising bill of five hundred and four forty. So have not been paid. So insurance. It means they are owing insurance balance as per try balance insurance let's go through our try balance and see insurance 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 is three thousand insurance is three thousand see add owings Add owings. Add owings. Insurance is five hundred, so we add it. It will be three thousand five hundred. So when we go to our income statement, insurance will be represented by three thousand five hundred, and the five hundred will be a current liability. The next one is advertising eight. Advertising. Balance. As per try balance, let's go and see advertising balance. Let's check the try balance advertising. It's three thousand. Advertising is three thousand. Three thousand four hundred and forty. Yeah, three thousand four hundred and forty. Advertising is 3,440. I'm reading it from a laptop, so please, in case I get something wrong and my trial balance is messed up, so I can't trace it well, but I know I've picked up the right figures though. Add Owings. The Owings is 440 for advertising bill. So 3,440 plus 440. We give us three eight eight zero. So the final advertising expense that will go into the income statement is three eight eight zero. We are done with this, and the advertising owings will go to the current liabilities. Betty, the sales girl for Karim, was paid a salary advance of 400 the balance day. So nine wages and salaries we have to adjust it. The reason why I'm making wages and salaries is because. In the trial balance, the item is wages and salaries. So you don't just write salaries. The full name of that item is wages and salaries. You go by balance as per try balance. <coughs> wages and salaries. <coughs> wages and salaries. We have wages and salaries to be 16400 and they are saying there's a salary in advance. So we pay the sales girl. Say less is prepayment, so less advance. It doesn't relate to this year. 400. So the real wages and salary is supposed to be 16,000. So when you go to the um, state and financial position, since it's an ex uh, expense prepaid, the 400 becomes our current asset. The last one is the loan interest loan interest loan interest what is the balance as per try balance i know we've paid thousand and we will be owing 
we don't know the owing so uh, the interest i think the rate of the interest was allocated uh, beside a short term loan 15 percent so the real interest we're supposed to pay is 15 over 100 times 10,000 which will give us 1,500 so it means we are owing 500 so you say add owings we were supposed to pay the real interest supposed to charge for the year is 1,500 that's 15% on the 10,000 and we have paid 1,000 it means we are owing 500 so different between the 1,000 and 1,500 give me the 500 and I decided to add so if you add it you get a 1,500 that's all we are done with the workings. I think I can start the income statement. So let's know the items within the uh, tri balance. We have sales. So Karen Bostic. Karen Bostic. Karen Bostic. Then income statement for the year ended. Income statement. For the year ended. For the year ended. Let me see. Go to the requirement. That first December 2008. neatly the first one will be the sales give your city sign colon the sales and how much is the sales let's look through purchases and sales sales is 200,960 200, 200,960 and we less our retaining was less retain in was retaining was is how much five four four okay. two hundred nine six zero minus five four four we get two hundred four one six these are net sales then we come to less cost of sales so with the cost of sales you underline it neatly come to opening inventory Is opening inventory let's see inventory 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 yes 54 520 54 520 54 520 then we add our purchases mind you we have adjusted purchases so i will check my reckons number for purchases reckons four when you go there is there purchases is now 163 thousand instead of 168 then do we have carriage in was let's check carriage in was carriage in was i don't think so carriage 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 no carriage in was no carriage out was so let's add this to 54520 plus 163,000. You get 217,520. Your return out was, yes, I saw it. It less return out was. Return out was having credit balance. So it's 1392. 1392. 
minus 1392 216128 this is what we call cold gaps cost of goods available for sale then we less our closing inventory our closing inventory closing inventory where is the closing inventory yeah it's 80,000 minus 80,000 and you get 136 128 this is the cost of sales we take it from the next sales 200 416 and we get 64 288 this is our gross profit Gross profit, then we say add other income. Add other income. Add that income. I've seen discount received. I've seen discount received. I've seen commission received. Discount received. discount received 18,000 is having a credit balance because it's an income and then we come to commission received commission received is 9040 do you have any decrease do you have any other income I don't think so so we add the three six four two eight eight plus 18,000 plus 9040 91328 this is the total income then we say less operating expenses Operating expenses. So with operating expenses, it should be very um, simple for us to deal with the workings we've done here already. We have increase in provision. That's workings too. Increase in provision. Workings too. And we got the increase is seven two four. We have. Um, fuel expense fuel 9632 we have insurance fuel is working 6 insurance working 7 3500 we have advertising advertising Working is eight three eight eight zero wages and salaries wages and salaries working is nine sixteen thousand then loan interest. Working is ten thousand five hundred. Since we are done with this, depreciation will be the last thing. So let's check through the trial balance first. We have discount allowed. Discount allowed is an expense, so it's fifteen thousand. We have advertising bad debt written off. Bad debt written off. Five three six. We have. Let's see if there's any other expense that we haven't recorded. We've recorded all. Then we come to depreciation. 
that's the last item that's we bring the current year position in this we have fixtures and fittings f and f current year was 984 we have motor vehicle mv current year was 528 we have plants and equipment p and e current year the position was 500 we have building 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 was current year was 10000 so in all we can sum up our total expenses 724 plus 9632 plus 3500 plus 3880 plus 16000 plus 1500 plus 15000 plus 536 plus 984 plus 528 plus 500 plus 10000 so we'll get 62 784 62784 then we take it from the total income minus 91328 get a profit of 28544 so these are net profit net profit all right so <laughs> let's start the statement of financial position let's prepare the statement of financial position so we have karen bostic karen bostic we have statement of financial position statement financial position asset 31st december 2008 underline it neatly then you come to the non-current assets so with this one you can check your non-current asset schedule non current assets create your two columns Ghana city Ghana city So there, um, you can go through the non-current asset schedule to pick those items you have. We have first one, we have fixtures and fittings. Fixtures and fittings. Since you have already worked for uh, the annex book values, you go, through, uh, you, you go straight to the non-current assets and go and pick those items. You have five, five, seven, six, four fixtures and fittings we have motor vehicle motor vehicle we have 4272 4272 we have plants and equipment plants and equipment 7500 we have building Building is ninety thousand. So you take your calculator five five seven six plus five five seven six plus four two seven two plus seven thousand five hundred plus ninety thousand. You get one zero seven three four eight. After you are done with the non-current asset, you come to current asset. You underline. Current asset, we have, go through the trial balance. We have inventory. We have inventory. Inventory the value is 80,000. And don't forget, we have six month treasury bill, six month treasury bill, which is a short term asset as current assets. Six month treasury bill, treasury 
treasury bill. The value, let's see the value, 12,000. We have account receivables. We have adjusted the account receivables amount. So you go through, you go through the workings. It's workings three, which is 16, five, nine, six. And then you go to fuel prepaid, fuel prepaid. That's expense prepaid is our current asset. Working six. In my workings, you can check uh, from there 2408, 2408. Wages and salaries in advance. Wages and salaries in advance. In advance. Workings nine. That's 400. We have cash at hand cash at hand and what is the cash at hand 42A0 42A0 we have cash at bank that's bank cash at hand is the same as cash and cash at bank is the same as bank so cash at bank is 8000 let's see if that's all the items we have here so first one I have 80000 plus 12,000 plus 16,596 plus 2,408 plus 400 plus 4,280 plus 8,000, which will be 1, 2, 3, 6, 8, 4. When you add it to the non current asset plus 107,348, you will get 231,032. And then you go to finance by finance by I want my work to be neat finance by you have capital or honest equity capital which is in, in the trial balance let me see it's one nine one one nine one zero four zero we add our net profit net profit is also according to the um it's two eight five four four two eight five four four these two will give us two one nine one nine one zero zero four zero plus two eight five four four two one nine five eight four then we less drawings Drawings, we have adjusted it, so go to Workings 5. Workings 5, drawings is 15,400. So minus 15,400, which will give us 204,184. Then we come to our current liabilities. Current liabilities. From this question, we don't have any long-term liability or non-current liability, so I think be all we list them one by one account payables are the first one i know so any question that will be given to you account payables simply refer to simply refers to um people we've bought goods from that we haven't paid them we are owing them we have insurance owings they are all in the reckons insurance owings let me know the reckons number insurance owings working seven Insurance owings, 500. You have advertising owing. Working is eight. Is there? It's 440. We have loan interest owing. Loan interest owing. See, the loan interest we paid 1000 and the main interest was 1005. Therefore, we are owing that is working is 10. We are owing 500. Then, the loan, the short term loan, the 15% short term loan principal, 15% short term loan, the principal itself is a current liability, which is a short term. 
so you add the five items here 15 408 plus 500 plus 440 plus another 500 plus 10,000 you will get 26 848 if you add it to the 204 184 you are getting 231032 which meters balance therefore our total asset is equal to our capital and liabilities that's all thank you very much if you have any question you can dm me